Did you come here alone? I did. Did anyone, and anyone at all, follow you? I don't think so. Actually, then, you are ready. Ready for what? Well, your mission should you choose to accept it. And why wouldn't you? Well, unless it's maybe very dangerous and not fully thought out. Excellent. Then you'll take it. Yes. Excellent. So, your mission, now that you've accepted it, yeah, and it's a good one, I can't wait to hear, is to go deep undercover with Agent Llama. Yeah. Be ready for action. Action. Adventure. Adventure. Danger. Danger? Can I back out of the mission? Absolutely not. Too late. The ink has been dried of the contract. Also, oh, speaking of contracts. Oh, yeah. Big news on Olivia the Ostrich's movie career. Oh, what? I'm going to be playing Agent Llama in the future blockbuster film. Yeah. All we need now is to write a script, find a director, hire a cast, and, and... Well, we got a lot to do. Oh, yes, we better get to it. All right, get on with your mission. And we have our own mission. Let's go, Green Bear. All right, I'm going. All right, we're going to, to Agent Llama's case. What awaits us inside? Obviously adventure, action, danger. You ready? Nobody followed you here, did they? Okay, we're gonna go anyway. Ooh, already, we see so many action scenes playing out. We're gonna go in to meet Charlie Palmer, super spy, crime fighter, obviously the most stylish llama I have ever seen in my entire life. A mountainside, a snowy slope, a spy looks through a telescope. I wonder what she's seeing out there. She slaloms down the hill with ease on double pairs of jet black skis, then fires a dark boom to fell a goon. Just a normal afternoon for Charlie Palmer, super spy. This llama always gets her guy. That's right, fella. I know you're seeing stars, but that's how it is when you cross paths with Agent Llama. She's super cool. She saved the world just yesterday, just yesterday, just yesterday, by zapping with a laser ray that beastly bad guy, Bogdan Boom. Boom. A scientist with dreams of doom, 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 doom. Let's look at the file. Bogdan Boom, target profile. Let's see, name, Bogdan Boom, got it. Species, musk ox. Height, three foot six, so about yay high. Weight, unknown, favorite food, smoky bacon chips. That sounds like we have something in common. Characteristics, short stature, very grumpy. Do you know anybody like that? Short, grumpy, maybe? Mission objective, capture boom and disable super duper laser blaster. Oh no, the mission remains according to the file. Boom incomplete. Right now, she's on another case. The reason for this high speed chase, woo, 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 woo. But wait, a call is coming through from Charlie's boss at Spy HQ. Look at that, the satellite, and there, there's that penguin on the phone. It's, is that like Agent, Agent Penguin? Uh, manager Penguin? I don't know, I don't know his secret name. We need you, Palmer, right away. Some underwear has gone astray. And here's the thing that's truly sinister. They belong to the Prime Minister. Oh, no. Breaking news, breaking news. Breaking PM's undies go AWOL. Briefing on briefs to follow. The llama can't believe the news. It's not a theft that I would choose, nor would I. Why would you steal underwear of all the valuable things in the world? There must be some reason. Ah, yes, they're trying to embarrass the prime minister before the world and make him seem weak so then they can take over. Yes, it's a nefarious plan. But do not panic or despair. I'll find that missing underwear because she's Agent Llama. Two hours later, here she is. A picture of suave sophistication. On board a plane with Lemon Fizz, her brand new gadgets lie about. Stink bomb, 
in a Brussels sprout, bag of chips with jet propeller, parachute in a small umbrella, sports car in a ping pong ball. Then, yikes, the plane begins to fall. But wait, before the plane falls, can we just go back to that cool bag of tricks? Because, okay, I want the sports car in a ping pong ball. Yeah, that one. No, yikes! The plane begins to fall. Charlie races up to see the pilot's gone. It's only me. Look at that. The pilot jumped out of the plane. It's sabotage, people. The bad guy's behind this for sure. She takes control and starts to climb. She's, a mountain looms. Woo! She's got to go up. She's just in time to not hit the mountain. And look, the, the air thing came down because the oxygen is, you know, whoop, 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 whoop. this is bad. But snakes alive, the fuel lights flashing. Hot shot llamas don't do crashing. Oh no. It's like when you're in the car and your grown ups suddenly says, oh no, the gas tank is on empty. We need to stop. And you're like, no, I'm going to be late. Except this is worse because if she goes on empty, oh no, she's going to die. A sprint. A jump, a oh, perfect landing, boom. This llama, guys, she's just outstanding. And why is she outstanding? Oh, you know why, because she's Asian llama! <laughs> this is so exciting, I love it! I know, I know, super good. Okay, so did you see that? She ran, she saw the empty, and then she ran off the plane, boom, she jumps out and she has a parachute, and then she makes a perfect, stylish landing, still holding the bag of tricks, and you look at that, you see that fire in the background? That's the plane that crashed. Thanks a lot, pilot guy, wherever you are. And now, doo -doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. she's in a posh hotel. She's brought her suit, she cleans up well. Then super suave and oh so cool, she saunters to the rooftop pool. A lady in the shallow, shallow, and Purrs, so we meet again, old friend. Her swimsuit top is yellow tinted and her shorts banana printed. Greta Grimm, so you're involved. The undies theft has now been solved, so hand them back. It's over, Grimm. But Greta just resumes her swim. Her goons are coming. There are six. Oh no, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six against one, against one llama. Are we worried? No, because she's Agent Llama. And she knows what she is doing, but let's see what she does. But Charlie lands some Kung Fu kicks. <laughs> That's right, fellas. It's Agent Llama. Grim sobs. Oh, you won. I feel so silly. Help me out. I'm getting chilly. I think it's a trap. Our heroine extends a hoof. Her swanky suit is waterproof and takes Grim's hands, but zing! She zapped. Oh no, the old electronic buzzer and the hand trick. Zing, she zapped. The pool floor opens and now she's trapped. This is quite the setup, isn't it? There was a trap door under the pool the whole time. I mean, they really thought this through. Charlie wakes up inside a lair. She's tied tightly to a chair. And watching her from across the room are Greta Grimm and Bogdan Boom from the previous unsolved case. They must be working together this whole time. That would explain why everything is so elaborately planned out. Our trap has worked. We've lured her in, shrieks Bogdan Boom. At last I win. <laughs> this llama spy has laughed her last. So long, old girl. It's been a blast. An evil grin contorts his face. Give my regards to outer space. Oh no, no, he, he's not going to send Llama Spy up into the space station, moon, somewhere up there. The chairs are rocket. Oh no, smoke appears. It's hot, red hot. I feel it here too. Then Charlie hears a rumbling roar. She's worried now. She must escape, she must. 
But how? <gasps> this is the time that tries spy souls. Our hero is in quite a fix. She needs her case of techno tricks. Oops, oops, oops. Oops, I forgot, not that kind of techno, techno tricks. You know, that cool bag with like the ping pong sports car? That's what we need. Although I don't know how a ping pong sports car would help in this very instant, but I bet. Agent Llama knows exactly how to use it. I'm beaten, Boom, and you're the winner. Won't you grant me one last dinner? A Brussels sprout, a chip or two? I'll even share the bag with you. She's gonna fool them. Oh, chips, says Boom. Untie her, Greta. Smoky bacon, even better. He reaches for the high-tech pack. Then Charlie launches her. Attack! She chucks a sprout. It hits the floor. And smelly smoke begins to pour. <laughs> <laughs> it stinks, screams Boom, who cannot see, but Charlie Palmer snores soaring free. Coolly reaching out a limb, she takes the underwear from Grimm. That's right, the underwear from the Prime Minister, which we still don't fully clearly know why they needed, but she's got it back. Outside the lair, she bolts the door. They can't escape now, that's for sure. Then Charlie taps the ping pong ball, and from her car, she makes a call. Yes, the ping pong ball to the rescue. And look at the cool sports car that came out. Bright, sunshiny yellow. When did she have time to accessorize with this full, like, scarf and the head scarf and, and then the cool outfit and her scarf is flowing in the wind and then her hair is in the thick... You guys. She's really special, and Olivia is going to play her to sheer perfection. HQ, success! We've saved the nation! I think I've earned a short vacation! Ah, to the coast, perhaps? The car zooms off, and soon she'll reach a warm, secluded, sandy beach. It's mission over. No more drama. What a legend! What a llama! Wait a minute. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? The picture is telling us a bit of a story that the words are not. Uh-huh, that's a submarine. That right there? Message in a bottle. What does it say? It's for llama's eyes only. I think vacation is over. Because when you're Agent Llama, vacations are always cut short. I smell a sequel. What's that? A second version to Agent Llama. But we haven't even done Agent Llama 1. Oh, we have so much to do. Oh, your mission, should you accept it, and we really need you to accept it, is to go on with your secret mission, whatever that might be. Uh, sorry, Tyler, your mission? Ah, yes, I must accept the mission. What's the mission, you ask? Oh, that's easy. The Kid Time Storytime mission is always make things better. Save the kid, save the world.